Hello everyone, my name is Amal Nergodkar, I'm the CEO of Patient Prism. I'm here live at our Patient Prism studios in Denver, Colorado at the 9th Annual Dicomed Definitive DSO Conference. I'm here with my friend Chelsea Myers uh, from Dental Life Coach. And um, I recently got to know her um, through social media and then we I had a Zoom conversation with her. I've been fascinated with what she's doing in helping doctors uh, find their purpose and meaning and happiness and, 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 and eventually getting them to where they want to be in life and and that leading to prosperity overall, you know, mental prosperity, financial prosperity and everything else. Chelsea, welcome. Thank you, Amal. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, tell us why, tell us first, what, what do you do? Yeah, so we're concerned with optimal efficiency as it applies to real world function. And so what we want is leaders that are flexible and adaptable, people that other people want to be led by. Okay. And 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 so most of your customers, not most, all of them are dentists, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't work with hygienists or anybody no. else. You work with dentists. But what do you so if I am a dentist and I say, Chelsea, I need help, what is what do they need help with? Well, you know, we're in fast-paced environments dealing with a lot of things and so um, it's not necessarily I, I think there are more decisions to be made than there are problems to solve but it if there's not a strong acumen of uh, decision making a skill and processes in place then those problems start to mushroom as those problems go unsolved so so what could be one of the problems like tell, tell me about an example where a dentist came to you and said Chelsea I want I want you to work on this for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see a lot of people that have um, concerns around their ability to have professional conversations. And so that could manifest itself in a lot of ways. It could be overly aggressive. It could be um, not handling things, not managing my team and my practice correctly. Um, and, you know, we need to figure out what is it that you want? So in this case, we want better professional communication. What is holding you back? And then how do we align um, that desire of yours with your organization's vision and values? It's interesting. So sometimes you think that, oh, a doctor cannot, a doctor, for example, one of the big problems we see is that, oh, well, we have problems of retention. Mm -hmm. We can't retain our employees. Right. And, and, and sometimes it's just, and, and, and today in my panel, they said, oh, it's, it's, it's not always about money. Mm -hmm. right? People want a lot more from their leaders uh, than just money, right? Do you deal with that? Absolutely. I was talking with a client of mine out here just a minute ago, and he was saying, you know, um, one of the one of the participants in our program um, is working on this professional communication, and he said, you know, she runs off people in one case within four hours. Had run off one of the team members because of her uh, leadership or lack of leadership style that was effective for that practice. And and then so you will kind of diagnose what's going on in terms of interpersonal right. communication mm -hmm. and will so is 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 the purpose of the life coach to make the dentist a better leader a better listener well all leaders listen well um so better leader right yeah so everything i built is around health happiness and success and really um awareness is the interstate of our outer manifestations. And so if I'm not aware of a problem that I have, if I'm not aware that I'm running my team members off because of you know the way that I'm approaching them, yeah. then I can't fix it. Right. Um, and what I find is that um, my clients, they're in general really good people. They want to fix it. They just, they just don't, don't realize how. where the areas of opportunity are. And so, so you take them through a program. Is that like a several weeks program? Is it a few months? So how, how long is the program? For let's say I'm an individual mm -hmm. practice and I have just one doctor, I've got two hygienists. How long is that program to kind of get them to graduate from your uh, school of dental life coaching? Yeah, good question. So um, I would say three to six months offers a really good pivot. And then we can just from there decide together, you know, what would be appropriate. We have a really robust LMS system. We have individual coaching, group coaching, um, a really fantastic team that can meet those needs depending on what they are. Right. Um, and then how would you do this in a larger setting? Mm -hmm. How would you do this? Because it's still an individual's progress, right? Every doctor has their own journey, their own life experiences, their right. own past, their own self-limiting beliefs that you have to deal with. Yeah. So if, if this was a, you know, a group that had 10 doctors, mm -hmm. how would you handle that? Or would you say, no, that's too much? That's a good question. No, some of our 
our uh, clients have more than 10 doctors. And so it can be a hybrid where there are individual coaching as well as group coaching. And I have found even being a participant in some of these group type coaching atmospheres that you can get a tremendous amount of value hearing someone else talk about and then be coached through some of their thinking. It's very transferable, even if it's not the exact same situation that you have. And um, so what kind of results do you see after they go through the program? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you, what, what, what is, is what, what kind of metrics do you measure before, during, and after that you know that the program was successful? Yeah, things I like to keep an eye on are case acceptance rates, retention, and then ultimately um, getting a diagnosis on you know, from leadership and from um, the team members, is this a culture that you want to be a part of and is this a scalable culture for the organization? And so we keep track of those things. And on average, we're seeing 20% increase on case acceptance rates. We're seeing um, tremendous uh, increase in retain retaining our talent, which is right now, especially with the human resource condition, Absolutely. just so important. And so... Um, and then, like you mentioned before, you know, um, in order to attract more people for a growing organization, people talk. You have to be somewhere that people want to be. You know, one of the big um, constructs in dentistry has been the mental well-being of the dentist mm -hmm. for many, many years. I mean, right. this is not a new construct. And, and, and how happy they are. Uh, because if, if the doctor is happy, everybody else is happy. Right. Right. And the patients are happy, the mm -hmm. team members are happy. And I think uh, I, what I admire about your work and what I appreciate about what you plan to do is you really are trying to make the doctor happy by, by, by giving them a path. Sometimes you feel stuck in where you are because you just don't know uh, what, what's wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And the diagnosis may not come from a traditional, uh, you could go to your counselor, but, but that's that, that's a different that's different right? that's different there, there could be lots of different things but a life coach especially who understands um, the business you're, you're in it's kind of the perfect combination right because now you're you, you understand dentistry as a business you understand their challenges because if you go to some coach and they don't understand what challenges you have specifically then you almost don't feel that you can trust them because oh, well they don't understand now my hygienist right. didn't show up this morning so what am I going to do right? right but 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 now you're able to, you have this instant confluence of like experience with working with dentists and dental offices, you've owned dental offices in the past, and dealing with the psych psychological elements of it makes you kind of a powerful combination. Yeah, thank you. You know, it, it is really inspiring just to watch that transformation and watch someone, you know, I think of health, happiness, and success all part of the same rubber band. And if they're not progressing at the same rate and something's held back, at some point it snaps. And then there's no amount of money or no amount of um, success or title that will make up for the fact that you're unhappy. Absolutely. So so if, if a doctor or a group wants to connect with you, um, What's the best way to reach you? Yeah, thank you. I'm on LinkedIn, Chelsea Myers, M-Y-E-R-S, um, or also dentallife.coach. Dentallife.coach. And um, they can send you an email, they sure. can contact you, and you'll do a consultation and figure out what they need, and then create a customized plan mm -hmm. uh, for their specific needs so they can lead a life of health, happiness, and fulfillment. Yes, exactly. Right? So, Chelsea, thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure knowing you, and I look forward to... Uh, hearing more success stories about how you've changed people's lives. Thank you, Amal. Thanks for having Thanks. me.